Hello, I am doing today a video on a how-to, because you know I do how-tos from now and then, on how to, oh no, you just broke a eyeshadow. What do I do now? That would be today's how-to. I am wearing, before I start anything else, I am wearing uh, my St. Patrick's Day look on this eye, and I'm wearing, you know, that on my lips too, and I'll tell you all about that in the next video. So, I'm going to get the camera set up real quick, you know, to focus on what I'm going to be doing, and then we'll get to the how-to. Okay. Now, what you're going to need for this tutorial, well, how-to, is you're going to need, like, some sort of paper to take your pigments, or your, this is also works for pressing pigments, but I don't have, you know, I don't have a pan. I'm not, I'm not going to be doing it into a pan. I'm going to be doing it into, you know, the original pan right here. So, yeah, I love this color, but it just totally biffed on me the other day. So, I'm just going to take this all out and put it into a piece of paper. I need a piece of paper and just take all that product out. Even this, which I will scrape out with this little handy little mini screwdriver. Make sure this is sanitary because you know you're using stuff that's going back on your eyes. And then like just take the rag that you're going to use to press down the um, the uh, shadow back down into and like clean up the edges here. I'm going to clean up the edges so that this is all clean again. <sighs> Shit. Sorry. I kind of blew some of the pigment away on the desk. And Marky has developed a powder, a, 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 a dirty potty mouth, as you can tell, so I'm trying to stop from that because I totally used the bad word. Anyway, getting back to this. I'm going to gather it and I'm going to put it like this in here in this piece of paper. Is everyone still following me? I'm like really um, not focused today. And I'm going to take the back end of this. And I'm going to kind of crush it up a little bit. Now this is my method. You don't have to do it exactly the same way I do this. But this is what I do. I'm going to clean that off. Okay. Now I'm going to gather up all that's what's left of my poor eyeshadow. Love its freaking heart. Then I'm going to... Tap that back into the pan, like so. Because that's still quite a bit of shadow to, to go, and even though it was only five bucks originally, I'm going to get my five bucks worth. Then you're going to tap the pan until you think that everything in there is like back to, you know, back to order so you can press it. And you want to get really good and, um, you know, you want to get it really good and uh, crushed up so that it will be good and uh, velvety when you use it again. Then, you, the next step you do, you take a little bit of alcohol, and if you have some droppers, that's fabulous, but I don't have any droppers. It just takes just a couple drops across the top of the eyeshadow. Like so, and you want you want kind of a interesting consistency. You can even take the screwdriver and like do this. You want it kind of pasty. Then the next step is this is what's going to give your shadow that just brand new look to it. And then I'm going to take my the end of my screwdriver I'm going to punch in there and pack all the, the, that back down. See, like that, like so. So it looks like this. And yes, you will waste some product onto your um, 
onto your thing, but onto your shirt, but that's tough stuff. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna clean up your edges. Blow any other away. And then that's done. That is complete. This is my sea glass duo from uh, Maybelline. Yeah. And then this is going to sit out overnight um, till it's completely dried where it will not be pasty anymore. And then you can use it because also the fact that you have, of course, um, alcohol in there. So, yep, yep, yep. So that's how you either re pot something that you've dropped and broke or um, how to press pigment into a, a pigment pan. So that is the end of this how-to and I will see you guys later. If I have if I've done anything incorrect or if you know a better way to do this, let me know and I will redo this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.